Hello everybody, it's me again, Charles Norman from Sports Solutions LLC. We are the creators of Athletic SOS and AthleticSOS.com. And it is a software program for those of you that are trying to get athletic scholarships. We show you all of your options and your opportunities. And then you take that information and you can make a better decision so you can find the perfect fit uh, athletic scholarship opportunity for yourself. So in this one, I'm, I'm actually really excited here because I realize now this YouTube stuff actually kind of works because um, we have someone that uses the software from a high school. And just to be uh, clear with you guys, our Athletic SOS was originally created for high school programs, athletic programs, because we wanted to use the staff, the coaches, the athletic directors, the counselors, the principal, everybody at the school. And then we wanted the parents and the student athletes to find the school that fit them. And then we wanted them to work together to get that kid into the best position. And the other thing we were doing with the high schools were we understand that 95 percent of those kids that play athletics at the high school level are not going to play at the collegiate level. So inside of there, not only do we have uh, the opportunity, the same one that I give you guys for free, by the way, at, I say no cost. I can't say for free, but for no cost down below, I give you a code and I give you the instructions so you can use the software for free. Oh, I just did it again and no cost because um, but there's a slight difference inside the high school program. There is a uh, button in there called academic only. And that's for the kids that are not trying to get athletic scholarships, but they do play sports at the high school level. And we want to help every single kid that took the time out to play sports for their high school. So that's how it works. And we do the same thing for some travel club programs also, as long as they have the staff to help the kids move forward on their decision. So if I decide I want to go to this school or that school, do you have somebody there that can help them uh, move forward? But anyway, so I get a, uh, I get an email from a kid who's seen the YouTube videos and was very proud of themselves. So inside of that academic only button, when, when you click the academic, academic only button for the high school program, we also add in trade schools. For, so for you guys, you won't see that button because uh, the code that I give you guys um, we'll let you see all the schools that you qualify that have uh, opportunities for athletic scholarships, but you don't get that academic only button. And so inside the academic only button, you'll see trade schools. And so one of the things I talked to you guys about here is thinking past what everyone else is doing so that you are positioned better than the competition for whatever you're trying to do. Get an athletic scholarship, just go to college as a, a college student, or if you want to go to trade schools. You go ahead and put yourself in the best position, but don't just think about that next move, right? You're, you're going to college or trade school. What are you going to do after that? And then what are you going to do after that? Okay, so this kid's listening to me, you know, and I'm, I'm just kind of thrilled about this. So here's what they, he basically wrote. He said that he was trying to decide whether to go to trade school. He didn't really want to go back to school, I guess is the best way to put it. He wanted to go back and learn, but he wanted to get a trade and get started and moving on with his life and he wasn't thinking about going to a four-year school so his thought process was i'm going to go to a trade school but then when he started looking into it trade schools are, are fairly expensive not as expensive as going to a four-year college but it, it costs more than going to a community college and so this is where the trade-off was so his thought process was i looked at it my community college has the trade that i'm interested in as an option there in a certificate program or uh uh, some kind of licensing program, but it's not the full student experience, right? And so that would be a lot cheaper than going to the trade school. And so I like the thought process because that means this person is trying to, I, I'd say, sort of hack the system, right? They're thinking past what they want to do. So I want to bring a couple of things in here because I did a little bit of research on this on his behalf. The big, uh, so let's get the first thing out of, out of the way. If you want to play uh, after high school, you're going to have to go to the community college, right? The trade schools do not have uh, sports programs. At least I didn't find any that did, which gave me a what if. I don't know why they don't have that. That the U.S. Trade School Association, if you're listening to this, uh, let's put something together for you guys. There's no reason you guys can't have some sports on your program. You will get a lot more people coming in uh, to do the trade schools if they thought they could continue playing and they can compete against other trade schools, I guess. Or even better, just connect your trade school with a community college that does not have a program uh, similar to yours. And maybe you guys can work out something where those kids can come to your trade school and in return, they get the full credits and then they can, um, they're a member of the community college, but they also take the courses at your uh, trade school. Anyway, something can be worked out that way. I think that would be great. But 
So let's say you want to continue playing, then you have to go to community college. Now here's the, the rub for uh, this young man. You have to be fully enrolled and take a full set of uh, courses or get a full set of credits each semester to qualify to play at a JC. You can't just go and take the certificate program and also participate as an athlete. So that sort of took that out for that person. But I like the way that they were thinking. So I looked a little bit deeper into it. So if you look at cost-wise, a trade school is going to cost you quite a bit more than if you took that same certificate program at a community college. Now, the other thing that was, because I, I checked the one close to us. Now, they, they have a full array of, they've got robotics, they've got some nursing programs, they had uh, welding, they had automotive repair, they had truck repair, they had uh, aviation stuff going on. The community college out here was, I mean, they had a whole bunch of programs that you can go and take as a certificate program. But here's the other big caveat to that. Getting in, there's a two-year, three-year waiting list, depending on which one of those courses you want to take versus just going to the school in general as a general student. So I thought that was interesting. So that's one of the things. Now, trade school, you can get into right away, but it's going to cost you a little bit more. The other thing to be really careful of with trade schools is make sure it's an accredited tra uh, trade school. So in our system for the high school program, we only uh, show you accredited trade schools. So make sure they're accredited. You want to make sure that if you, uh, and the same thing for uh, the community colleges, which is not as big a, a deal, but you want to make sure that when you come out of there, that when you go to get a job, that the people that are hiring understand you went to an accredited program because they have to meet certain standards. And then the other thing I, I, I kind of figured out here was that if you go to a trade school, um, it's more of a, uh, a hands-on type environment, right? And then there's a lot of apprenticeship and, and, and those sort of things. So you're going to get some hands-on, not only training and learning, about how the system works overall, whatever you're going into, whatever the specialty you're looking at, but you're also going to get an opportunity to work with people that are actually doing it for a living. And I think that's a huge thing. And I think their job uh, f uh, finding uh, setup is a little bit better at the trade schools. They do have it at the community colleges, but I think it's a little more intense. And then the other thing was for the trade school, uh, the timing, when I was looking at apples and apples, I thought, you know, I was looking at some of the automotive stuff the, the training time, maybe 18 months, uh, six months to 18 months for a trade school, and it was 18 to 24 months for uh, a community college, so a little bit longer. And so it just comes down to what you want to do. So let's take all of that in and say, if I was looking at this for this uh, person, they want to play, they got to go to the community college anyway. If it's just I want to uh, move forward, I would now that the community college and the trade school are even it up a little bit. If the community college has uh, space and you can get in quickly, I would say the community college is going to cost you a lot less money overall over time. Although I will say this, when you go to the trade school, you get your books, you get everything you need, parking free, uh, you know, those kind of things. Those are little incidentals, but they could start adding up for you. Whereas the community college, you're responsible for all that other stuff. So. And don't forget, if you decide to play at a community college and go full time, I don't know if you can take those certificate programs, but I think you can still take a program that's in line with the certificate. Go ahead and get your AA, but you're going to have to take regular uh, college courses, right? Because the idea of a community college is to get you all of your basic uh, courses out of the way so that you can move on to a four-year school. That's kind of the idea behind going to a community college. So you're going to have to really look into it a little bit, but I, I like the idea. I guess the big thing for me was somebody was thinking past uh, just the base, being like everyone else, and I, I love that. So um, congratulations on that part, but be really thorough. And so the other thing I want to say is, listen, I, this, these are all my opinions. You guys are going to do what you need to do, but do your research, think it through, and don't think just my next level, what do I want to go after that, and where do I want to go after that? Now, the other thing I want to throw out here, um, is that let's say you go to a trade school and you get a job. And so somewhere 10 years down the line, they're going to start looking for people to be the shop supervisor or foreman or whatever is going on. I don't know what, what area you're going into, but that's where the trade school, I think, is going to be less valuable than if you would have gone to a community college, taken the same uh, courseware, but you got the AA at least. You're like You got a, uh, an AA degree. And so... Because what happens in, when you go to college is you learn to do reports. You understand how to work amongst other people. You're a little more well-rounded. And, and so 
And the other thing is, I always tell you guys this over and over again, one of the things you have to find out when you're going to do job interviews, that person on the other side is going, okay, if I hire this person and it doesn't go well, am I going to get blamed for it? Do I have a reason to say why I hired you, right? When, when the person above me goes, why would you hire this person? And you go, well, look at their resume and look at their educational background. Uh, and then the other person will go, okay, I get it. But if I gave you a break because you did not have that degree, then, and you don't come through for me, now I'm looking bad because I hired somebody that didn't have the credentials to even start this. And I know you may be just as good as that other person, or that other person may have that degree, but doesn't know anymore. You write better reports. You, you really know what you're doing. I get it. But that's not how the world works. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. So anyway, I just want to make this out. Yes, uh, trade schools are great. If that's what you want to go into, that's fine. And you can always go back to school later. And a lot of times, if you're doing a great job, that company, if you're working for a company, that company will send you back to school. And I will say this, you are going to be working from a trade school. You're going to be working hands-on, and you may get a great chance to work with someone that's in the field that's actually doing the work. That is huge, or at least they did it for a long time. With community college, it may be a little more theory-oriented, you know, uh, and, and so that person may not necessarily have done that, but they can give you the overall basics, the history of it, where it's going in the future, and all that sort of thing. And then that was the other piece I wanted to throw in on this. If you're going to go, take a look at what's coming, because you want to be make sure that whatever program you go into, that you are uh, going what's going to be next. So if you're going to trucking or airline, you know, there's a lot of electric vehicles coming out. There's a lot of uh, AI being involved. Some of the, the uh, cars and things like that are more computers than they are cars almost now. So you want to make sure you're not learning what was, you want to learn what's coming. And it's not bad to know what was because whatever is coming, that old world is still going to be there for a while and you can make a great living doing that. And then the final piece of this is, remember this, whatever you're doing at 20 and 30, you will not be doing at 40 and 50. So you want to have a plan in place for what you're going to do next. So let's say you just go to trade school. Do you want to open your own shop someday? Do you want to uh, teach someday? Do you want to um, Whatever you want to do next, just figure it out. And so plan accordingly to what you think you might want to be doing down the road. All right, guys. Best of luck to all of you guys in whatever your future endeavors are. Please look down below. I have a code and I have uh, instructions for you to use our software. Find out. If you want to get an athletic scholarship, find out all of your options. And inside of there, we have uh, NCAA Division I, II, and three. We have NAIA schools and we have junior colleges in there. And so you guys can find something for you. Don't forget, those junior colleges will pay for room and board and uh, uh, your books and your everything that you need to do. They'll do that too. So don't think that uh, just because you're not going straight to a four-year school. So if you did something, your grades aren't quite there, your ACT, uh, SAT test scores aren't where you want them to be, go to a JC, and then you can even come out after the first year in some instances if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing there, and you can move on to a four-year school and now that ACT, SAT is not even in the picture anymore, and you got your GPA where it needs to be, you sort of get a restart. And so it's, it's a great opportunity for you. Don't pass it up, especially if you want to continue playing and you think you have the skill set to do so. All right. Talk to you guys later. Best of luck to all of you. Bye.